Hey guys, my name is Adam, your friendly Sasquatch, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Leatherman Curl. This is a new multi-tool for 2021. It has a lot of similarities to the Leatherman Wave, so throughout this review we'll be bringing a wave in for some comparisons. But first, before we do that, let's take a quick look at the sheath that comes with this Leatherman Curl. It's a relatively basic nylon sheath. It has a nice belt loop on the back so you can carry it on your belt or pack. It has a snap button instead of a Velcro, which I particularly like. Now it doesn't have the side pockets on it like the Leatherman Charge does, and it does not have the inside um, pocket in the back here for the bit accessories. But a very serviceable sheath that comes with this. I do like the snap button, and it'll work very good for just everyday general use. Throw in your bag, throw in your toolbox, whatever you might need it for. Setting this aside, let's go ahead and take a look at the size and weight of this new Leatherman Curl, because that's one of its strengths. So the Leatherman Curl when closed is four inches long, 1.25 inches wide, and 0.6 inches thick without the included pocket clip. Now the Leatherman Curl weighs 6.8 ounces, which is a bit lighter than the bigger brother, the Leatherman Wave, coming in at 8.1 ounces. While we have the Wave out, let's go ahead and just put them side by side so you can kind of see the uh, direct comparison. The length and width are very comparable. Um, these tools take a very similar footprint. You will notice that the Leatherman Curl is a little bit thinner, and that's because the Leatherman Curl only has two outside accessible tools on one side, where the Leatherman Wave has four, two on each side. Diving into the outside tools, like I said, the Leatherman Curl has two. One is a 2.9 inch long 420HC stainless steel blade. It's a plain edge blade, which if you're going to only have one blade on the multi-tool, I do prefer the plain edge. So good job there. The other tool, which is on the same side of the multi-tool as the knife blade, is the file. And just like the Wave, it has an excellent file. One side is a wood slash metal file. And on the other side, you have a diamond file, which is great for uh, sharpening things like knives or cutting tools. So really do like the file. A nice touch is also that on the bottom or the spine of the file, you have the cross cuts to make a kind of a, a makeshift metal saw. So a very good versatile file is something I've always liked on the Leatherman Wave, and I'm glad to see that on the Leatherman Bond. Um, I didn't mention when we were looking at the knife, but the um, both the knife and the file are locking with the uh, kind of liner style lock, which is consistent with the Leatherman Wave, Charge, or Surge type multi-tool. On the other side of the multi-tool, you'll see there are no outside accessible tools. So the only tools that you get are the file and the knife with this particular multi-tool. Now compared to the Wave, the Wave also has a straight edge knife that's a liner lock style, along with a metal file with the diamond coat, just like the Leatherman Curl. But the Wave also has a serrated edge blade, which the Leatherman Curl does not, as well as an outdoor saw or wood saw. If these are important features to you, you might want to consider the Leatherman Wave. But if you can do without those, the Leatherman Curl might be the perfect tool for you. While we're on the outside of this multi-tool, you'll see that the Leatherman Curl comes with this pre-installed pocket clip, which is great because that's something you have to pay extra for with the Leatherman Wave. So this tool is about $20 less than the Leatherman Wave, and it comes with the pocket clip, which is an add-on cost for Leatherman Wave. So as far as value goes, this is already looking like a pretty compelling case. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the pliers. And the pliers are just like the original Leatherman Wave. You will notice it does not have the removable wire cutters like the newer Leatherman Wave has with the removable carbide bits. That being said, I've never had an issue with the non-removable wire cutters on the Leatherman products. They do a pretty good job with them. And if you look in your toolbox, most of your wire cutters that you get direct from the hardware store don't have removable bits either. They're not, it's not really an issue. Leatherman does have a 25 year warranty on their products. So if you do end up d damaging your wire cutters, they will replace the plier heads for you. And just like on the Leatherman Wave, the needle nose pliers are nicely rounded and come to a fine tip. The plier heads themselves have nice sharp teeth on them and the wire cutters are sized nicely. They'll be able to cut most things around your home. Moving on to the inside tools that Leatherman Curl offers. On the first handle, we have the bit adapter, which is one of the things the Leatherman Wave did really well. It's two-sided with the Phillips head on one side and the flat head on the other. On this handle, we also have the multifunction tool with the can opener, bottle opener, and wire strippers. All the functions work quite well, just like they did on the Leatherman Wave. And just for comparison, you can see that Leatherman Wave also has the bit adapter and bottle opener tool on the same handle. Moving to the other side of the tool, we have the little pair of scissors, which many people like from the Wave, the large flathead screwdriver, which uh, the Wave also has, just use it like a pry bar for opening things like paint cans or prying on things that you don't want to damage your knife blade with. And finally, we have the awl. And this is the first thing that's different on the inside tools compared to the Leatherman Wave. On the Leatherman Wave, instead of the awl, we have the micro screwdriver set. Another difference between the Leatherman Curl and the Leatherman Wave is on the internal tools, the Leatherman Curl uses a kind of a locking slip joint to lock out the internal tools. 
or on the Letterman Way, we have an actual button lock, making a more positive lockout. The other benefit of the button lock is it makes it a little bit easier to close the tool up. As far as the safety of using the internal tools, I don't see the different locking styles being much of an issue. Um, you typically use the uh, internal tools with the multi-tool in its closed configuration, so it doesn't really have a way to fold in on itself because it's going to hit the other handle. Um, even if you were using it in like the pistol grip format, um, the center line of the tool is aligned nicely with the pivot, meaning that when you apply force, it's driving the force straight through that pivot versus on some other tools, you'll see this kind of offset, making it want to kind of fold in on itself. The Leatherman Curl doesn't exhibit that problem. The force line goes straight through the pivot, meaning it's gonna take a very significant and deliberate sideways force to make it fold over. Okay, so that was my quick and dirty overview of the new Leatherman Curl. So um, what does it have over the Leatherman Wave? Why would you buy something like this instead of the, uh, the Leatherman Wave, which has been Leatherman's bestseller for many years? Well, first of all, it's a little bit less expensive. It's about $20 less than the Leatherman Wave. Also, it comes with its own pocket clip. Where it's the Leatherman Wave, the pocket clip's not included. You have to go buy that separately, which costs you even more money. And finally, the Letterman Curl has an all right in it. The Letterman Wave doesn't come with this tool, so if it's important to you, the Letterman Curl is coming to one for you. Now, all that being said, the Letterman Curl doesn't have all the features that the Letterman Wave does. The Letterman Wave comes with a second knife blade, which is serrated, and a saw that the Letterman Curl doesn't have. On the inside, the Letterman Wave has a micro screwdriver where the Letterman Curl doesn't. So if the micro screwdriver is important to you, the Letterman Wave is probably going to be a tool for you. The final major difference between the Letterman Curl and the Letterman Wave is the Letterman Wave currently comes with removable wire cutters where the Letterman Curl does not. Overall, I really like the Letterman Curl. It's basically a more compact and lighter weight version of the Letterman Wave, but it's still very capable. Some of the things I like about the Letterman Curl is the outside tools still lock, unlike some of Letterman's other recent offerings. It comes with the pocket clip, unlike most of Leatherman's other tools, and the slip joint locking design of the inside tools has been very well executed. So if you've been considering the Leatherman Wave but don't need a serrated blade or a saw, I think the Leatherman Curl would be a great option for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video review. If you did, hit that like button below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers!